Hello and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. The income tax formula appears to be a challenge for most Excel users. Join me in this video and let's simplify this process in just about 5 minutes. So this is Ghana's tax table for income tax. Um, for the first 288 is 0, next 100 is 5 and so on, exceeding 20,000 is 30%. For the trick we are going to use, I'm going to create or restate these chargeable income lines. So Alt I C F4 to repeat this, and then I'm going to create from and to. So the idea is that I'm going to create the cumulative bands here. So equal to sum, and I'll select this column. This will duplicate the cell reference. The reason I'm doing this is I want to lock the row portion in the first part and then I'll just copy this down using Ctrl D and then I'll put 0 here. So 0 to 288 will represent the first band and then 288 plus 1 going down. I've now created two points the lower end and then the upper end representing each chargeable income here. So now that this is done, let's work with an example of a taxable of 5,000 Ghana cities. How much tax would you pay on this? Quite simple. So we are going to use a formula called sum product. Okay, so sum product is going to calculate the tax on this 5,000 using marginal rates on this. Now, before we do that, let's insert a row just above this row. I will do that quickly with Alt IR. So this inserts a row up here. I'm going to use this to calculate my marginal rate. I can make it a bit smaller, Alt HOH, and then reduce the height to two so that it doesn't really change the display of my table, but I'm still going to use it. So now let's proceed with our formula equal to sum product so sum product i'll bring a double minus what this is going to do is it's going to convert a series of trues and falses to one and zero respectively i'll open another bracket and then take my taxable okay my first test is that any point where this taxable is greater than these numbers my lower points okay I need the formula to calculate. So that is what I'm going to test in the first instance. So I'll close this and I'll bring my comma. In the second instance, I'm going to calculate the marginal rates or the changes in the rates as we go down. And to do this, I'm first going to select the current rates, which is from F3 to F8. Okay. And then subtract it from F2, just the cell above F3, I select that part and then come all the way down, leaving the last one. So this in effect is calculating the marginal rates or the changes in the rates in this particular column. The last thing I'm going to do is to take my taxable, okay, and then subtract it from this column again, all the numbers in this column again. So that's all the calculation I'm going to do here. So this part, that part, and then that part. So three steps. And then when I hit enter, this is the tax payable on 5,000 Ghana cities. Now, if you are using Office 365, this is even going to be simpler. You've introduced this new function called Lambda. Now what Lambda does is that it allows you to Create your own custom function from a very complex one so that you don't really have to always type this when you are trying to calculate PAY. Now, to do this, we are first going to lock these ranges. So here, F4, F4 for this, F4 for that, and then F4 for this. I'm doing this because I'll be copying this formula in the name manager. I want it fixed. That's why I've locked it both row and column. Now, what I'm going to do is D10 is always our taxable. I'm going to define D10 and call this taxable. 
you don't have 365, you can use this formula as it is. But if you have Office 365, this is a very, very useful addition. So anywhere that's taxable, I'm going to create it and put it in a new function. So I'm going to copy this, Control C, and this function is called Lambda. Okay, it requires you to define your inputs, which I've already named taxable. And then wherever you find taxable, apply it in this way. So it's going to substitute any instance where you have taxable here. And then I'll close my bracket. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this formula and then give it a standard name, say PAYE. So I've highlighted this. I'll come to Formulas, Name Manager, go to New, and then I'll name this PAYE. This refers to this workbook. So anywhere in this workbook, I can use that. It refers to, so here you come and then you paste in your formula, the one that we created, and then you click OK. So now anywhere you call equal to PAY, this function is going to execute. Now let's test this. I come to a new sheet and I'm going to generate a random list of taxable num values. So we can do this with Excel's run between 1000 minimum points and then 9000. So this generates a series of numbers. Now assuming these are my taxable values and I want to calculate PAYE. What I'm going to do is I'll call instead of the whole sum product formula, I'll just now create or call PAYE, open bracket, and then select this number. Okay, so in essence, I have calculated PAYE and I don't have to go through the formula again. And I'll drag this down, it calculates for all these numbers. The good thing is that if you set it up this way and then there are changes in the tax table, you just have to do the changes here and then anywhere you want to use this PAY custom formula you have created, you are able to use it in this workbook. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks.